everyone. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about strings and characters in Ruby. So to declare a string in Ruby, we can just um, write our um, sentence within double quotes or single quotes. So we can have something like, hello world, I am coding. And then we can simply print the string by doing puts A and we get hello world, I am coding. So in uh, Ruby, you can index certain parts of the string by using the uh, array by using indexing like you would on an, on an array. So you could do something like zero dot dot four, and it'll give you the first four uh, characters. So zero, one, two, three, four. So we can do eight and we get hello world and it stops. Um, and you can also do, if you just wanted a, um, a single character, you can do hello, you can do a of six and you get W starting from world. So six dot dot uh, nine, we should get almost the whole world. Uh, okay, so some common functions you'll probably need to use for some of the coder byte challenges is you can see if you could see the index of um, a character in a string. So you could do something like print index um, of the character W, and it'll return a number six. So it's in the sixth position in the string. So that's what index helps you with. Uh, you can do something like print index of i, and it lets you know if it's in it. And if you do something where it doesn't exist in the in the string, then it returns nothing. So from this code above, it's returning uh, this. So we can do something like if uh, a index of b, then puts yeah else puts nope and so we do something like this we get if the index of b is in a then we put yay otherwise nope so it doesn't exist and if we do w we get yay so this is just a really simple way to use the index function a few other functions you have um puts a include and the question mark uh, in Ruby is for if this um, function will return a boolean. So if it includes uh, the world, and we get true. And if we do something like uh, Venus, we get false. So include is a function to see if a um, character or string is within a string. Uh, then you have something really simple like puts a length. And you just get the length of the whole string, so 23 characters. Uh, you can even delete things. So you can do a delete. And then if we want to delete the i, and then we put a, we get hello, uh, whoops, a equals a delete i. And now we get um, the i is removed from the string. So hello world space space coding. Um, you can also count the number of strings, so you can do put a count, uh, we want to count how many times L occurred, and we get three. So we have one, two, and then three right here. Another cool thing is you can actually loop through, so instead of writing a loop to loop through the string, in Ruby it's really cool, you can do something, you can use the each care function, so each care and then for each character, we can do something a little more complex. So we can do something like if uh, C equals E or C equals uh, L. So this is what we'll do. We'll create another string. We'll call it B. It's empty. And so if the character equals C, uh, if the character C equals E or L, then b plus equals c and, and then we'll print b and we should get a string of just the characters e and l uh, depending on how many times they occurred so if we run this we get e l l l so it encounters e l l and then the final l right here so this is just a really simple block in ruby where you can use the each care function and then have some logic within it uh, and then some other uh, simpler functions, you have put a, you can do swap case. So it swaps the cases, so you can see the i is lowercase, everything else is uppercase. 
uh, and you have capitalize, capitalize, and that basically capitalizes the first character, so it, characterize, uh, it capitalizes the first character of the whole string. Uh, so yeah, these are some really simple functions that will become uh, really useful for the easy coder bike challenges. Uh, and there are a lot more that you can utilize uh, on the, I'll post a link uh, beneath here to look at the rest of the um, Ruby string functions.